new prisons Corbett is trying to build in Montgomery County cost $400 million to build and will house 4,100 people. Every prison that's been built in Pennsylvania has not just been filled, but overfilled. So we know that if they build this prison, they're just going to lock up more people and cause more damage to our already struggling state. A lot of people try to tell us that's that it's impossible to stop these prisons, that they are a done deal. But we believe there is nothing inevitable about these prisons being built. There's nothing inevitable about tons of concrete and yards of razor wire coming together to create an institution designed to incarcerate, punish, and traumatize people. There is nothing inevitable about mass incarceration. There is nothing inevitable about 4,100 new prison beds coming into being as 64 <laughs> schools are closing. But unless we join together and fight back, this is what will happen. I'm participating in this action because we need to take a stand against the system of mass incarceration that disproportionately targets working class and poor communities of color. Corbett is spending $685 million of our tax money on prison expansion. Instead of meeting the people's needs, the state is locking people up. And we need to put a stop to all that. We need investment in communities. We need good public schools, quality health care, youth programs, rec centers, community-based restorative justice programs, and so much more for all the communities in the state. What we don't need is a system that rips apart families, destroys neighborhoods, and individual lives. We all know that they, if, they, if they build Phoenix 1 and 2 here at Greaterford, they will fill them. It's time for Corbett to put a stop to these foolish and destructive policies and cancel all new prisons and institute new policies that reduce the number of people that are already locked up. Corbett is investing in misery and it's time for him to start investing in humanity. I'm participating in this action because I think that Governor Corbett's priorities are wrong. I don't want Pennsylvania spending hundreds of millions of dollars building new prisons while we're cutting funding for education and social services. Um, and as a queer person, I stand in solidarity with queer and trans people who are incarcerated for the way they look or for participating in alternative economies um, or just being poor or homeless due to discrimination. Um, I want queer and trans people facing poverty, mental illness, and HIV positive status to have access to general assistance and other social services not to be locked up. More classmates, less inmates. Uh, my name is Jenna Peters Golden, and I'm a member of the Philly Stands Up Collective. And we're a collective in Philadelphia that works with people who perpetrate sexual assault and violence. Um, we support survivors and we believe that people can transform their behaviors and can change if we put love and energy and work into that. So I'm doing this action because I believe we should invest in people, in education, in our neighborhoods, and in transformation, um, not investing in prison expansion. I've lived in Philly for about 15 years, and I've seen those struggling communities be, be beaten, be attacked, be constantly under the gun of the prison system. And it's clear that the way these communities are treated alone makes them more vulnerable to incarceration. Um, and it seems clear that also that, that the only way to fight back against this expansion of the prison system and this attack on our communities is to is to step up and disrupt this this expansion of the prison system. I'm engaging in this act of civil disobedience because we need to put an end to these prison constructions. The state of PA is spending six hundred and eighty five million to build three new prisons while our school system is in desperate need of funding. Governor Corbett prioritizes incarceration over education. Prisons do not make our community safer. They break up families and ruin people's lives. Education, employment, housing, and health care make communities safer. Yet our governor prioritizes the construction of new prisons over these basic rights. I'm taking part in this action because I believe powerful things happen when people come together and organize. I'm also taking part for my brothers and sisters who cannot be here because as formerly incarcerated people, immigrants, and people of color, they are most targeted by systems of criminalization. I believe that social change only happens when people come together and organize. Prisons don't keep us safe. Pennsylvania has one of the highest incarceration rates in the world, and yet there have been 294 ho homicides here in 2012 alone. I'm taking this action because I believe it needs to be taken. I'm taking this action because I believe mass imprisonment impacts all of us. I'm taking this action because I believe that building a better world is impossible when so many of our potential comrades, allies, and friends are locked behind bars. I'm proud to be part of Decarcerate PA and forever grateful to the many people inside and outside of prison whose decades of courageous struggle against the prison system continue to encourage and inspire us.